next joint in your body, especially the, the upper body for the time being, will be your shoulder. Obviously, your shoulder has a lot of mobility, but we need also a bit of stability. Not only the shoulder, but also in the shoulder blade on the back. So let's start with the shoulder blade. <clears throat> your shoulder here should be able to go up and down, and up and down, but also forward and backward, forward and backward. So from that movement now, combining those four directions, we should be able to describe a circle going up and down, up and down, and also the other way around, down and up to the back, and down and up. As before, we should also be able to describe a figure eight, an horizontal figure eight, here and here. So it goes up, forward, down, backward, down, forward, down, and of course being able to reverse the movement, smooth it up and make it more fluid. Still using the shoulder and the shoulder blade, we should be able to do pretty much the same movement with the arm straight in front of you. Being able to describe a circle going up and down, up and down. Exactly the same movement here. The shoulder blade should help your shoulder to move as a circle up and down, up and down, and the other way around. Make sure you have a smooth movement. You can even do the two shoulders at the same time. Or a bit more challenging, one after the other, like a camshaft. Not only with your arms in front, but again, a tiny bit more difficult with your arms to the side. So up, going down, describing a circle, or one after the other, in one direction, and the other one. Your shoulder will guide your arm in a lot of different directions. It's one of the more mobile joints, big joints, in your body. We can describe a circle in a vertical plane, in one direction or the other. We can make a circle in the front, so it will be going like that, in front of your body, in one direction or the other. We can make a circle to the back, meaning behind your body, behind your chest, going down here, and the other way around. Okay. And then we can make a circle up there, or down here. So it can go up here, but it can also go down here. So that's pretty much the different planes, the different directions your shoulder can move. Then we can start combining them to create a kind of three-dimensional three figure eight. So for example, we can combine this circle here with another one on the other side and it becomes something like here, going here. And you maintain your chest in the same direction, so only your shoulder actually works. And then you smooth it up, speed up a little bit to get a nice fluid motion. We can do the same thing with the circle in front and on the back, front and back and switch to the other direction. And of course, we can use the two circles, the top one and the bottom one, combined in a nice fluid movement. And switching direction. And of course, every time you work one arm, you have to work the other one as well.